Welcome to today's video. So today is gonna be fun because it is my first high carb day of prep, okay? So I will kind of explain what that means here in a second, but you saw my breakfast. I did not do my normal Vans waffles. That might be weird because you might be thinking, well, waffles have carbs, why would you not eat them? On a high carb day, my fats are a lot lower and those Vans waffles do have fat in them. So on a high carb day, you kind of have to be conscious of the fats that you're taking in throughout the day. So that is why I just did an omelet and hash browns. I put spinach and mushrooms with egg whites. So no whole egg because an egg yolk is five grams of fat. And then the hash browns are no fat. They're just carbs and they were so freaking good. So that's kind of going to be the theme throughout the day. I think I'll take you to the gym as well. But you also saw we hit a new low weigh-in today, it broke into the 143s. I slept in so hard. I think I got nine and a half hours of sleep because I went to sleep at like midnight and woke up at 940, but I feel so good. I'm excited for a high carb day. We're gonna go train back and shoulders, get a good pump. And we're also gonna go out to dinner tonight because one of my friends, Jen, just moved to San Diego and her dad is here, so we're all gonna go out to dinner. Um, I already looked up the nutritional information, already got it all plugged in, figured out. So you will see that, and I think that is what we have on the docket for today. So, here we go, full day of eating slash vlog, um, and a solid workout for you. So I think that's everything I wanted to touch on right now. Um, things are still moving along with prep, Again, this is my first high carb day. Right now, we're just gonna do one per week. So every seventh day, I will have a high day. And again, we have so much time to prep that that's why we're not like going balls to the wall right now. We are just coasting along, making things happen, working with the body and not against it. And we're gonna keep crushing it. So that's what I got for you. And I will catch you in the next clip. <laughs> Wait, I know, one other thing I wanted to touch on. So my new low today was 143.8. And I had a couple people message me on Instagram because I have a prep highlight so every week I put my progress photos and my weight and they were basically just saying like thank you for showing us that not everybody weighs 113 pounds like yo I'm five seven and a half five eight I have a decent amount of muscle okay I'm going to weigh more than like these five foot nugs who are all a hundred pounds for their stage weight you know what I mean and I'm here to show you that like yo it's okay to weigh more than 110 or 120 or 130 or 140. I have gotten above 150 in my off season. And for me and my stature and my build, that is about where I start to get uncomfortable about where my body's set point is. Um, my body likes to be in the 150s. My mind likes to be in the 140s. Um, and obviously I'm going to be a lot lower than that as I lean out and get shreddy. Um, but I just wanted to make it clear that just because all your favorite fitness influencers that you follow are small, you have to take into account how tall they are also. Because if they're like five foot zero, their bones are not gonna weigh as much as my bones, who, someone who's five eight, right? So the scale, it, it's just a number, right? And I don't attach anything to that because it, do, it truly does not matter. And I, it took me a long time to get to this point. I used to be like, oh my God, I can never tell someone that I weigh more than like 130 pounds. But when people see me in person, they're like, you don't even look like you weigh that much. And that shows you how much our minds are warped from society telling us certain numbers are good and certain numbers are too much. So just wanted to throw that in there, let you know, yeah, <laughs> I weigh 143.8 today. And I got up to, I've been up to about 153 before in this whole fitness journey when I was weighing myself. Um, and I was okay. So that's the thing I wanted to share. And now I will catch you in the next clip. Okay, so clearly we were starting back in shoulders. I forgot to tell you that I ate two caramel rice cakes before I came here because it hadn't been that long since I had breakfast, but I wanted to get some more carbs down because we have 250 carbs to hit today and I do not want to be 
hoarding my food till the end of the day. So, brief intermission for that. Let's get back to the workout. My back and shoulder days are really quick like we literally had it done and I think like 30 to 35 minutes but now Bay and I are about to hit some cardio <laughs> Lexi's actually just starting her reverse diet um, but she still has a little bit of cardio so we're gonna do it together and it's always a good time lifting with the roomie you should go to her page and thank you for filming everything because she helps me so much with content and she is the real MVP so I just have 25 minutes right now um, and I will catch up with you after. <laughs> People always ask how my makeup holds up through sweating and all of that and one it's because I use high-end products. Two, sometimes people are like you must not sweat that much. Bro, I am a faucet on the cardio so what I do is I go get a paper towel and I just like dab, dab my face off um, and then I'm gonna go stretch. So I just figured I'd give you a little real look behind the scenes since I am trying to share more and I have never done this, so <laughs> your girl is sweaty. I'm gonna talk to you guys out here because it is too toasty to be sitting in the car talking to you. Hopefully the light lighting is okay. Um, but to continue with this full day of eating, I am having my post-workout shake of Formula One plus Ignition. If you are not familiar, I do take first form products and the link in the description will always get you free shipping. But the reason that I take this it's because this is the one time that a supplement is better than whole food. Um, and the reason being is because the protein and the carb in here, which I'll explain in a second, um, are both broken down as much as possible. So as soon as it hits my stomach, it's gonna be absorbed and digested and sent straight into my muscle cells. And the reason that you need protein and a carb is because after you tear down your muscle cells in the gym, they want two things in this order. The first thing is to refill your glycogen stores, which are carbs stored in your muscle cells. So that is why you need a carb post-workout. It also wants protein to, step two, repair your muscle cells. It's not gonna start that repair until you fill up your glycogen stores. So again, that is why you want the protein paired with the carb. And the reason that I choose Formula One and Ignition, Ignition is the carb, Formula One is the protein, is again because they are broken down as much as possible so I know that it's going to start recovery ASAP which is exactly what you want no matter what your goals are whether you're cutting bulking maintaining doing life so all the flavors are really bomb I actually have loopy fruit in here um, I really love CTC I love chocolate mint cookie um, I just finished a root beer float tub I've literally tried almost all of them and there's not a bad flavor so like I said the link in the description will get you free shipping it at least saves you a few dollars if like you just do decide to order but as always ask me any questions you have I'm here to educate you and get those answered and for the ignition a full scoop is like I want to say like 43 carbs or something like that so I just do a half a scoop and you can kind of tailor that to your macronutrient needs but this digests very quickly so I am going to eat again pretty soon usually once I get home but it's good to get this in knowing that my drive home if I have any errands I'm taken care of on recovery so I'm actually about to go to Ralph's pick up a few things I'll show you what I get um, once I get home just because I do I forgot to tell you I do have a posing lesson my very first posing lesson of this prep at 4 o'clock and right now it is 205 so super stoked for that and I will like I said I'll show you what I pick up at Ralph's after this but your girl is feeling really hungry because like I said my fats are lower um, on high carb days and so fats slow your digestion so without them the carbs are just shooting right through me and it is very normal for hunger to be elevated on a high carb day so we got a good pumperoo life is good we got a great Saturday on deck and I will catch you in the next clip all right back from the gym and a quick trip to Ralphie's I picked up just a couple things like I said a couple things of shrooms Lexi and I seriously plow through these like we will buy Costco size packages of shrooms like three of them they'll be gone by like if we buy them on a monday they're gone by friday i don't know 
I don't know. Also picked up a nanner for my pancakes tonight. Uh, high carb perks. I picked up another spaghetti squash because this is great for low carb days. I do have a meal prep video on my channel from way back when showing you how to use spaghetti squash, but I will obviously be incorporating this into full days of eating. So just wanted to have that on deck. And same story as the mushrooms with the spinach. We will buy a Costco sized bag of spinach, plow through it by four days later. So I got another thing of espinaca. So that is the deal for now. It's 2.35, probably gonna eat soon so I don't get behind on food. Um, and then like I said, I have that posing lesson at four. So I'll show you the next meal. Here is what I'm having for my next meal. I just have some chicken breasts that I had prepped in there. I actually got it from Costco and they have like flavored chicken breasts. This one is like sesame chicken or something. I don't know, it tastes kind of Asian, it's really good. Um, have a few cauliflower gnocchi, green beans, and I put some Dijon mustard over top because we gotta have some kind of sauce. And then in here, I have sweet potatoes, so I'm waiting on those to finish up, and I will have sugar-free ketchup with those bad boys. Um, but I'm hungry right now, and I wanted to show you before I eat that, so <laughs> there you go. And here are the little sweet taters. I would say I don't know if I've ever seen anything so beautiful in my life, but we all know that the pancakes I'm gonna have tonight are gonna be the most beautiful. Got all the packages today, so I figured I would just show you some of them are fun. Some of them are just like, I needed a restock. Um, but the first one is Ignition. This is the carb source I was talking about earlier. So got that. And then also restocked on my full mega. This is First Form's fish oil product. And if you've never ordered from First Form, I don't want to show you my address. Let me make sure. They always do handwritten thank you notes. So I got this one. I got this one. And that has always been my favorite part I'm ordering from first form aside from the quality, obviously, but there's that. And then I also ordered from Amazon because Target is always out of this, but this is the body wash that I use for acne on my back, which right now it's like totally fixed. There's like nothing. I fully attribute it to this. I've been using this for almost two years, I think, because when I stopped taking birth control, my back got disgusting. It was embarrassing. I was just very self-conscious about it. So I use like a normal body wash, like a good smelling one. And then I use this on my back and shoulders and my chest. So if you struggle with that, definitely try this out. It's just panoxyl. Um, it has benzoyl peroxide in it and yeah, it doesn't lather a ton. So just a heads up if you're going to try it out, but these are really affordable and I just got tired of running out of it and Target not having it. So I just ordered a double pack on Amazon. And the other thing that we got here is another elf elite set yeah i know i did it um lexi had the red leggings and so i could see like how bright they are like holy nuts right and i like red is my freaking color okay so i ordered these and i got a small on the top this time because the tops are so stretchy like i usually wear mediums and they're it's too big for me um so i now have the yellow set with the shorts the cayman blue set with the leggings and the red set with the leggings. So maybe I'll wear these tomorrow for leg day. Um, but yeah, that's the packages. Figured I'll give you an update. I got posing in 16 minutes and then I'm gonna get ready for dinner. So I'll probably catch up with you then. Yo, so posing went very well. I'm super excited to get to practicing and be all fixed with my cues because actually, since the last time I competed, the posing has changed so much. So that's another thing to consider. But anyway, that's the update. We're about to leave for dinner. I figured I would show you my outfit. I just have these sandals, gold sandals. Those are from Target. My jeans are Fashion Nova. They're high-waisted. They're literally my favorite jeans ever. This is actually a crop top from Brandy Melville. It's high neck. And then this cover-up thing I got at a boutique in my college town. So there's that. Earrings are Kendra Scott. And we are on our way to Yard House, so I will show you what I end up getting there. Here we are with the most beautiful meal of the day. I made protein pancakes with some PB Fit and, of course, banana over the top with some Walden Farms maple walnut syrup. 
I am so friggin' excited to eat this. If you know, you know, when I'm in my off season, I have pancake A's every single night. And while I could still fit them into my cutting macros for a little bit longer, um, it's just not as fun because it's not as big of a serving or anything like that. So high carb day pancakes are a must, but that is going to conclude this full day of eating, this first high carb day of prep. So if you watched until now, I am taking all my good vibes and sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.